We have some exciting updates that we're going to share with you and some special guests on the program today. A program. I'm calling it a program. Yes. Is, is this a program? It is. Is that it's what's a going program. <laughs> so, uh, so we have, uh, just real quick, we got some exciting news. Show Me the Father is still in theaters. It's been in the top 10 for the last week. We got, uh, Steve, we got an A-plus cinema score. So listen to this. This is crazy. Show Me the Father is a documentary, but it feels like a feature film. Here's a shot of Tony Evans taking his family to see it in the theaters. And uh, he is featured in the film as well with some incredible wisdom about the fatherhood of God that is in Show Me the Father. I had a friend stop me last night at church. He went to see it on Friday night. He said, I went and sat in my truck and cried for 20 minutes because it blessed me, impacted me so deeply watching Show Me the Father in the theater. So uh, we're excited though, because when movies are released, an independent company called CinemaScore will go out across the nation and will poll people as they're coming out of the theater to find out what they thought about the movie. And so uh, it is very rare that a movie ever gets an A plus CinemaScore. But uh, Show Me the Father was given an A+, plus, praise God, this past weekend. Yep. And, uh, and it, so that's awesome. And it was awesome. So that they everybody they could find that came out of the movie watching it, they polled, and both of them gave it an A+. Plus both, both people. <laughs> <laughs> mom, kidding. our mom and our dad. No, no they actually uh, did some polling, I think, in eight different cities. And yes. so to get an A-plus cinema score, we're very grateful. 99 on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes is a site that allows audience members to rate the movie. And audiences gave it a 99, which is extremely... Extremely high. So if you have not seen Show Me the Father yet, we want to strongly encourage you while it's still in theaters to take your family, take your Sunday school class, take your sports team, your business. This is a movie that when you go in, you don't know what to expect, but it takes you on a roller coaster ride and it hits you deeply. It blesses you. You will feel loved by God at the end of this film. And uh, there are some epic stories uh, that we feature in Show Me the Father. So please spread the word and don't worry. Uh, you can wear a mask if you need to or, or sit with sit with a distance between you and the other people that are in the theater. But we would encourage you, please take advantage of this movie because it will bless you. You will not be disappointed. Awesome. So I think we have a, a special guest. We're ready. You've heard of Kanye West. Yes. Well, this is Matthew West. Matthew West. Kanye, we got Matthew West. How you doing, Even Matthew? Better. Hey, bro. Uh, he's my brother from another mother. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Hey, I feel like you guys are my brothers from another mother. Come it's on. It's so good to see you all. Yeah, you are. Too. Hey, Matthew West, uh, best-selling recording artist, has been ministering to millions of people over the years. And uh, most people don't know this. So we have a movie, Courageous Legacy, coming out in one week. Yes. Courageous Legacy. And there was a song by Casting Crowns called Courageous, a number one hit on radio, ministered to a lot of people. Matthew West helped write that song. You want me to be song. courageous. Yeah, Matthew helped write that song with Mark yes. Hall. Matthew, tell us the phenomenal inspiration you had working on that piece of music. <laughs> Well, I, I got to say, I, I like your brother's version of, oh, of that. Yeah, that's, that's terrible. Like it's got potential. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, uh, when, when, when we were in the editing room on editing yeah. Fireproof, your the guy who was editing with us, Bill Liebel, kept playing your music and sticking it in the film from something to say was the was the movie at the or, or the, your album at the time. And he was like, Man, I love this guy. And we kept that was the first time I was ever introduced to your music. Then I think you did you come on the set of Courageous when we were shooting? No, I the never movie? got to come onto the set. Oh, it was your I brother. Wish I could have. It was your brother that came because My he brother did. Yeah, yeah. You, that song Two Houses. From your album, yeah. The Story of Your Life, he was playing for us on set, and we were like, this is an incredible song. So we were hearing from Man. other people, your brother being one of them, how amazing your yeah. music was. And uh, and we've been fans. Man, I wore out The Story of Your Life on CD in my car, tons, you know, with my family, with my kids. Thank so blessed you. by your music, dude. All right, so, so tell us about uh, how you wrote Courageous with Mark Hall. What was that like? Well, um, I've, I've been a huge Casting Crowns fan for, for years. And, um, you know, I started my career behind the scenes writing songs for other recording artists. Um, a lot of people don't know, but for about three years when I moved to Nashville, all the record labels turned me down. And, uh, you know, I know you guys as filmmakers have probably faced those uh, phone calls where they say, don't call us, we'll call you. So right. I had those kind of types of rejections as well. But in that, the Lord really created 
new opportunities. And that's what I've come to realize. He's always working. Even when we face rejection, he's working on something and, and we try to stay faithful. And so I wound up out of that rejection, actually having uh, a, a surprise career show up, which was to be a songwriter behind the scenes. And Mark Hall called me one day and we had lunch together and I, it was my first time meeting him. So I was kind of nervous. And he said, uh, well, we're going to write a song today. And I said, oh, okay. And he's like, it's for a movie called Courageous. And I said, okay, well, what do you want to call it? He said, Courageous. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, listen, he, said, we, okay. he, he broke all the rules because we were told you cannot name it the name of the movie. You can't use the lines that are in the movie. You can't, you know, it's got to be this kind of symbolic, artistic kind of side kind of deal with that closing credit song. He broke all of those rules. Right. And then one more yeah. rule he broke. You know what the very, very last piece that we put in the movie Courageous, the last day before we had to turn it in to be duplicated for theaters was the song Courageous. Yeah. It was the last element that yeah. went into the movie. They recorded it, well, I think, that what, week. I think the week we're about to print. So, yeah. That's why I was panicking because I had just met him. I was kind of nervous. And he goes, well, we need to write a song. And I thought, okay, well, you know, we'll get together next week. He's like, no, we need to leave lunch right now and write this song because they're <laughs> waiting. And I was like, nothing like a little bit of pressure, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. But uh, I got to tell you guys, and I've never been able to tell you this, but what an honor it was to be able to read a script and watch a movie while it was still in process. And, you know, the West family is a huge fan of your guys' work. And, and just on behalf of my family and many other families out there, Thank you for creating the kind of films that you create that my family and my wife and my daughters can watch from start to finish. And not only is it safe for us to watch, but it brings us closer to Jesus and strengthens our faith. So it was a real honor for me to be able to see the early stages and, and be able to hopefully write a song that was that I always feel like music can be that exclamation mark. Yes. At the end of a, whether it's a pastor's sermon yes. or a movie like Courageous, just to drive home that point in the heartbeat of the movie. So it was a real honor and uh, it's so cool that it came together. I'm just glad we didn't delay your movie release. Oh man, no. it was the last element, but it worked and it blessed so many people. And the song I think is going to get a new life. I know some radio channels or something are, are trying yeah. to get it back out in the mainstream. And so we love it. We love the song, love what you contributed oh, to yeah. it. And, and I can't wait. Now, Matthew, you have a podcast. Let's talk about your podcast yeah. for a second. How long have you been doing this podcast? Well, uh, I started it about a year ago when um, 90 of my concerts were canceled and I was sitting in my studio uh, and my wife kept saying, don't you have a tour bus to get on? She wasn't used to me being home so much. <laughs> I'm ready for you um, to leave. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, I'm always used to being on the other side of the microphone and I'm doing interviews. People are asking me questions as a recording artist. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've always loved the idea of diving into the stories of other people's lives. And uh, the podcast felt like such a great opportunity to do that so um i need some kendrick guests on on my podcast come I on feeling that's going to be happening very soon but but yeah it's just another way of storytelling and uh speaking of stories i gotta tell you i mean one i'm excited about the courageous legacy and is it true that you know i think i spoke with alex a little bit but some of the deleted scenes yes that yes. didn't make the original cut are going to be that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yep. So, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. It's kind of like your wife pulling leftovers out of the fridge and adding cheese and putting in the microwave. No, no. So some of these are awesome scenes that people haven't seen yet. So courageous legacy, re-edited, new color, uh, additional score, deleted scenes that weren't able to be in the movie the first time because it was it was too long. We have those back in the movie and a brand new ending. And Matthew, when you see the ending, there is an awesome twist that we've added. People are going to love it. And then your song it's, will blast at the end. Yeah, of, uh, it goes back. Movie. We kick it back in. We didn't take it out. Wait. I can't wait. I mean, and I and you know, and doing a podcast and things like that, it's a chance to go deeper with the story, which just sounds like what you're doing with this 10-year anniversary is like, you're kind of taking the story of Courageous to another level. But speaking of stories, I heard uh, before you introduced me, I heard you talking about the documentary, Show Me the Father. Unbelievable. And uh, I, I was told this was your first documentary that you guys have made. Yes. Hopefully the first of many because it's awesome. And I can't encourage people enough to go check it out. Just one powerful story about fatherhood after the other. Awesome. You have a heart for fatherhood. You, uh, you have two daughters, correct? Yeah. You have two daughters. Uh, I, I personally 
loved your last video, Modest is Hottest. I loved it. I loved the song. Just I'm just saying. Uh, we got a big laugh out of it. I showed my kids. And uh, so thank I you. For it, hey, who would, you know, we are living in some crazy times when even the world with the word modest is uh, is canceled. You know what I mean? Yeah, and no. uh, I tell you what, I mean, you guys know this, man. We're coming up on a time where we got to be willing to stand up for what we believe. That's and, right. You know, I, I thought I was just putting out a funny song, you know, about a protective dad who's worried about the clothes his daughters are wearing. That's exactly what it was. It was from the heart of a father. Yes. And it was kind of poking fun at myself, trying to convince my daughters that boys really like turtlenecks and sensitive pairs of sl or uh, sensible <laughs> pairs of slacks. But I'll tell you, in all seriousness, uh, we made a goofy music video, but the, the grossly distorted way that this woke culture was, was taking the video images of my family out of context I had to step in and, and this is, you know, points to the heart of this father here is mm, yes. the irony is the heartbeat of that song was as a dad who loves his girls and wants them to know that they don't have to flaunt their bodies on TikTok or wherever else in order to find true love and acceptance. Right. Right. And, and yet when we released this funny video that my kids thought was hilarious, the world just started taking it and what they always do twist, turn, distort. And out of the heart of this father now who felt like he put his kids in harm's way unknowingly, I decided to pull the video right. to protect my daughters. <laughs> Unfortunately, some people took that as, you know, oh, Matthew's backing down. And I assure you, there is no part of me that's going to be backing down. Uh, and I, I will always stand up for my faith in Christ. And I will always stand up for my wife and my daughters uh, any day of the week. And I know that you guys have the same heart for your children. You just happen to have 30 more children than I <laughs> <laughs> Well, look, hey, we totally understand. And, and no one should doubt your devotion to the Lord, what he's called you to do. And uh, man, thank you for your support of Courageous Legacy. Thank you for your support of Show Me the Father. And thank you for the ministry that you have. It's awesome. And we encourage people to, uh, encourage people to check out your podcast. Tell them how they can uh, connect with your podcast. Yeah, wherever you listen to podcasts, uh, you can type in the Matthew West podcast. I'm uh, I'm ashamed of myself for the name of the podcast because as a songwriter, I pride myself on creative and clever titles. And uh, and I after like two months of trying to find a title that wasn't going to get me sued by some company in Germany, I finally just decided to keep it simple, stupid, and I went with the Matthew West podcast. There you go. So uh, people can uh, find it anywhere and. Uh, a little uh, hint, hint. They might, they might see an Alex. Uh, well, oh, wait. they might see a, you know, a Kendrick brother as a as a future guest very soon. But hey, but keep up the good work, guys. You guys are inspired in the work that you do in the movies you make. They are important and they're changing the world and they're impacting families like mine. And uh, it's just an honor to be able to connect with you guys. We love yeah. you. God bless you. Thanks for hanging out with us for a few minutes and. Uh, Keep changing the world, man. Yeah, man. Keep writing awesome songs, bro. We're cheering you on. Uh, hey, let's make a movie called Modest is Hottest. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we know you've gotten into acting a little bit, too. Uh, you were in our friend Gary yeah. Wheeler's film with the heart of Christmas. Gary Wheeler. Yeah, he's a dear friend hey, of ours. I, so I keep I keep doing push-ups and sit-ups yeah, and trying to stay in shape in case the Kendrick brothers ever call me. I'm gonna. These guns will be ready. Come nah, on, man. There you go. Yeah, we can make it happen, man. We can make. That's make it awesome. Happen. Bless you, man. Yeah. Take care, bro. You guys are the best. Thanks. Talk soon. Bye. See you. Okay, so we were talking about courageous. Um, you know, uh, Steve, we haven't shown the trailer on this. No, Facebook, we haven't. Facebook if you Live. have not seen Courageous Legacy trailer, it's coming out on September 24th. Check this out right here. I believe every father should step up and answer the call. So where are you, men of courage? Sheriff's office. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. Deputy Thompson has now survived his rookie year. Yeah. When do you get married? Have some kids. You're going to figure out real quick how much you don't know. <laughs> Miss Emily's piano recital. Can I talk to you? Can I suggest that you spend a little more time with him? All he wants to do is play video games and go run five miles. What are you doing home? Let me go. 
really feel like it messed up your childhood not having a dad? More than you know. Adam, I need you to come with me right now. Man, if it wasn't for my family, I'd be in a tailspin right now. You do heal, but you're never the same. I want to know what God expects of me. My life has led me down the road. I've been doing about half of what I should have been doing as a dad. You're being too hard on yourself. Now I am Resolution. Yeah, you've been a good enough father. I don't want to be a good enough father. Can I say this too? To find my way. I don't feel like I started well. I want to finish well. Give me you gonna do this? You're gonna do it right. Something like this needs ceremony. You're like a rich man. As your father, I want the very best for you. I promise to take care of you. So where are you, men of courage? I believe every father should step up and answer the call and to say, I will, I will. Yes, yes, Man. I want to see that movie again. Yeah, I want to be in that movie again. Yes, you can. You know, <laughs> September 24th, folks, it's going to be back in theaters. Listen, this movie starts off, we get to share some of the impact stories as to what God's done around the world. You never experience that in a film. Then it jumps in. It's the best edit of the movie. It flows better. Uh, we've got some cool new shots in there. It's recolored. Every frame of this movie is better. And then it's the the color's been enhanced. It's in 4K. There's new bonus scenes in it. And it's a, we shot a new ending to it. You gotta take your friends, your family. How often can you go see a movie that's clean? You can even take, even though it's PG-13. There's no profanity in this movie. My kids can watch it. Your kids can watch it. It's awesome. And, uh, on September 24th, I already know of a, a of a high school. It's a Christian high school, but the entire high school is going to go to the first showing that day on the 24th to see Courageous as an entire school. Awesome. And I love that because they're going to see a standard for fatherhood, for uh, leading your family spiritually, and of course all the action and emotion that goes with Courageous. If you if you like the first version, you're going to like this one even better. And if you've never seen it, Courageous starts off with a bang. There's action in this movie. There's an emotional roller coaster in this one as well. There's some very heart touching moments. There's some very challenging inspirational moments. There's this epic speech that is at the end. And really, our own father's resolution, the commitment he made uh, as he was growing up and after he got married that really changed our family is yeah. what we feature in the film. And so you're following different fathers uh, that are police officers. As they're watching and fighting gangs on the street, they're seeing that Gangs are the result of fatherlessness, but right. yet they're so busy, they're realizing they're neglecting their own kids at home. So uh, this is a very inspirational movie. It's really our first really cinematic movie it that is. people were like, this doesn't feel like an after-school special. And it's even more this cinematic one is legit. now. Yeah. We went back, we added drone shots and, and establishing yeah. shots and just the, everything that we did to it. I love sprucing it up, making it all it could be. Uh, so feel free. You could take groups to see it. You go to CourageousTheMovie.com. Yes. If you go to CourageousTheMovie.com, you can click on theaters. You can see where all the theaters are. Put in your zip code or your city. It'll tell you where all the local theaters are that you can go to. And man, we encourage you to take groups of people, take your family, take men's groups. It's going to really touch them. Speaking of people that have taken groups. Yes. So listen, some people just think about themselves. Do I want to go see that? And they want to go buy a ticket for themselves and they want to go sit and eat the popcorn. But some of you think ministry, you think impact, you think influence, and you rally people behind you. We've yeah. seen uh, over the seven movies that we've produced that there's usually these theater captains. Sometimes it's a per one person in a city that will rally people in the city and they realize this is a great opportunity to impact people that I know in my circumference of influence for Christ. I've got a good friend of mine that's a part of our Fatherhood Commission. His name is Kent Evans, and we have him now uh, joining us uh, on this Facebook Live today. Kent, how you doing, brother? 
Hey, I'm doing great, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Kent runs a ministry called Manhood Journey. We want him to talk about that in just a minute. But Kent, you just took a group this past weekend to see Show Me, or this past week, to see Show Me the Father, and you were telling me about it, and I was like, man, Kent has, has got to share with the world what happened. Talk about what just happened with the screening of Show Me the Father that you organized. Yeah, I saw it first a few months ago as a member of the Fatherhood Commission. We got an early view, and I thought once I saw it, man, I got to take a group of people. It's going to be a blast. And so our ministry is based in Louisville, Kentucky, and I said, I'm going to reach out. And in no time at all, we had 100 people or so who said, yeah, I'll come. And so we hosted a private showing Tuesday night in Louisville, Kentucky for right at 100 people. We had families, kids, moms, dads, pastors, ministry leaders. It was a blast. That's awesome, man. Well, and what happened so after good. people saw the film? Because there's some there's some gasping surprise mm -hmm. moments that are in the film. But I've noticed that when people see Show Me the Father, that a lot of times they have two responses. One is the immediate, oh my goodness, what just happened to me? <clears throat> this impacted me response. And sometimes it's days or weeks later that they're talking about it. But you got a little taste of both of those from, from oh, yeah. videos you got and also immediate responses in the theater. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would share a couple quick stories if we have time. One would be a, a good close friend of mine who's a youth pastor brought one of his former youth students who's now in his mid-20s. And this guy, the, the former student, has two kids of his own. And the guy in his 20s has never, ever met his own father. And so that youth pastor took his old student and they were in the parking lot for like an hour and a half after the film, just unpacking all sorts of conversation and issues around fatherhood. Uh, that was one that was really moving and I did not see that coming. The other was uh, I, I'm about 51 years old and I've had a friend in Louisville for almost my entire life. I've known Dave 45 years and Dave brought his son, his son-in-law and two of their friends and two of those younger boys, they're probably in their mid twenties. They almost got up and walked out of the movie because it was so moving and so, um, challenging for them to watch through this because of their own fatherhood issues with their own earthly dads but they hung in there they stuck it out and now the five of them are all going out for barbecue to kind of unpack and so it has really served to kick off a bunch of very interesting and extremely meaningful gospel and family conversations and that's just two i, I heard from about maybe seven or eight people the morning after the film who were all there and they all had stories. Moms, ministry leaders were all telling me things about how the, the film caused something really important to happen in their own heart and with relationships around them. Man, it was awesome. Well, and we've been praying for, uh, since the beginning that we started working in 2019 on this documentary, that God would grab a hold of people's hearts. And so what's exciting is people who have no faith in God, even atheists, have watched Show Me the Father and they're like, okay, I'm open to going to church now, or I'm ready to give my life to Christ. We've had a few people do that. And then there have been people that that love the Lord and have been walking with him for a while, but they saw the movie in a different light because they felt loved by God because they, many times people relate to God as this distant creator, but they don't pray to him as a loving father that they can completely trust. You just look at your worry level. If you're always worried about stuff and stressed about stuff, and Jesus said, don't worry, your father knows your needs before you ask, Pray because he cares about you and he's going to meet you right where you are. So everybody is being impacted by Show Me the Father in a different way. And one of the things I'm grateful for is that Show Me the Father and Courageous Legacy are like a one-two punch because both of them are inspiring. Both of them are entertaining in a lot of ways. They're captivating. But that one of them from the feature film perspective of Courageous Legacy coming out and Show Me the Father being true stories and the lead actors are the real people telling their, telling their stories, both of them will bless you and impact you. And so, Kent, I'm so grateful that you are a mover and a shaker and you take initiative and you've been rallying people around you. But this issue of fatherhood is epic for you and it kind of is a part of what led you into Manhood Journey. So can you talk a little bit about your ministry, Manhood Journey? You know, I was thinking even today, I wonder if the first showing of Courageous 10 years ago uh, might have actually, and I, I don't want to overstate it, could have led me as a piece of the puzzle 
into what I'm doing today because courageous really impacted me. Um, my, my own dad, great guys in his eighties lives in Florida, but was not a spiritual leader, right? <clears throat> they got divorced when I was late teen. And so you put all these pieces together and going back courageous probably influenced my ministry journey. Cause about 11 years ago, uh, we started writing on a whiteboard. What could we do if we got fathers together with their families and the dads became spiritual leaders and so we've been kind of kicking this same idea around right about the time you guys probably filmed Courageous. You know, I'd love to see the dates on that uh, because about 11 years ago, we started this ministry and our aim was to get dads having biblical conversations with their kids. And you kind of fast forward and manhood journeys. Now I get emails from all around the world uh, from guys who are using our resources, whether they're eBooks or listening to our new podcast or watching a video or downloading an eBook. And uh, we have been really blessed to be partnering before I even knew you guys, we were partnering in the yes. gospel project of working with dads to bring dads back into the leadership role of their home. And so it's been a blast to get to know you guys a little bit over the last year and a half with the Fatherhood Commission. But man, Manhood Journey does one thing, and it's very simple. We help dads become disciple makers. Mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're not interested, honestly, in helping dads become good dads or great dads or better dads or uh, uh, effective dads. That's really not our, our goal. Other people can do that. God's really asked us to help dads be disciple makers and have gospel focused intentionality in the home. And so we're, we're pumped to be connected with you guys, even just to promote your work is a blast for us. And quite frankly, guys, it's an honor and a privilege to be able to promote the work you guys have done because what the Kendrick brothers have done for the last 10 or 15 or 20 years is pour into guys like me, even though you didn't know you were doing that from mm. a distance, you guys were pouring into us and whatever small you know, momentum we have at Manhood Journey is at least due in part to the faithfulness of the Kendrick brothers over the last decade plus. So thank you guys for doing what you do. Oh, the same thing goes for you. Thanks for what uh, you, you do. Uh, you said that Courageous influenced you. Courageous influenced us as well. You Absolutely. Know, we're, we're working on the movie and God's speaking to our heart as well. He doesn't let us off the hook. Right. You know, so we're working on the film. <laughs> the Lord tells me, Alex, you need to start turning the TV off way more, spending more <laughs> A strategic time with your kids. And we started reading through the entire Bible together as a family, went through every single word of scripture together as a family in the evenings instead of watching television. Man, I wouldn't trade that time for anything in the world. Now that three of my kids are off in college, that, so there has been a time when every passage was read between me and my children. We talk about it, we go through it. And it took a few years to do that. But man, that came out of conviction while we were making Courageous. Well, and the movie ends yeah. and you're watching the this speech at the end, but you're seeing uh, Ken Bevel's character, Nathan. You're seeing Robert Amaya's character, Javier, reading the scriptures out loud to their kids at the end of the movie, Courageous. And so there's nothing better that you can do with your family than to be leading them spiritually and challenging them. Statistics show that if dads step up, if they get a vision for fatherhood, courageous fatherhood, and they realize kids are not a bother, kids are a blessing, and one of the greatest joys of your life is walking by you shorter than you every day, uh, grabbing a snack out of the refrigerator, longing for love, longing for blessing, longing for direction, comfort, uh, protection, and God has commissioned you as dads to be able to provide that for your families. And so, Kent, I appreciate you and your ministry. It's always a joy to talk to you. You're a, you're an outstanding speaker. You're a great leader. How can people go and connect with Manhood Journey and sign up for your uh, devotionals and the, the blogs and those things? Yeah, yeah. A lot of what we do is free. We give it away. And so, happy to do that. And if you come to manhoodjourney.org, that's just manhood journey.org. We've got eBooks and podcasts and free downloads, uh, plenty, uh, come and get them. Thank you guys for letting me be on. I want a quick comment, Alex. We had your son in our home, uh, uh last year cause he's going to college nearby and what a great young man. We had a blast with him. He came over for dinner and like any other college kid, man, he ate his weight in, uh, dinner <laughs> food, which I, I was like, yeah, you go, man. I, I would do the same thing if I were you. Uh, it was an honor to have him in our home, man. And I can still hear you in the movie saying, where are you men of courage? You know, that yeah. line from Courageous still rings in my ears. Guys, thanks for the blessing you are to, to mm. me and my family, uh, both directly and indirectly. Thank you, Kim. Thank Bless you, Kim. you. Thanks for what you do. Let's keep fighting. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. So if you are out there, you're thinking, you know, but what about COVID? Should I even go to the theater? Uh, let me remind you of something. 
College stadiums are packed for football. 100% restaurants capacity. Are, yeah, restaurants are getting full again. People are going back to church. Amen. Bless the Lord that they're doing mm-hmm. that. You can go to the theater. You don't have to sit neck right next to people. You can take a mask, mm-hmm. you know, do the hand sanitizer, whatever you got to do. But there is space for you right now. Theaters are not packed for really any movie. Yes. And I think the Marvel movie is doing pretty good. But other than that, the other 10 movies out there right now are... There's not a lot of people going because they're concerned about COVID. You have total space. Yeah, you could have the theater to yourself. We encourage you to go. So the numbers are fairly low for all movies, but the people who have seen Show Me the Father are raving about it, and we're very, very grateful for that. So Show Me the Father is in theaters right now. You can go to showmethefathermovie.com and click on Showtime's Theaters, type in your zip code. You can see where it's playing around you. There's tools that you can share. Share this trailer with your friends, your pastor. Take your family. One of the things I love about Show Me the Father is when people see it, they're walking out of the theater, and they're like, I know five people right now that need to see this movie. This is this was way better than I expected, and I could go watch it again. Secondly, Courageous Legacy is coming September the 24th in theaters across the United States. You can go to CourageousTheMovie.com. Please support these films. We have spent years, lots of money and work, blood, sweat, and tears in producing these films, and we're handing to you ready tools to not only bless you, but for you to use to bless your family, your marriage, your friends, your neighbors, people at your church, because they will impact them both if they don't have a relationship with God or if they have a strong relationship with God. They're going to be greatly encouraged. I love the verse Hebrews 3.13. It says, encourage or exhort one another every day lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. And so if you want to know if the people around you need encouragement, if they're breathing, they do. (laughs) And uh, these movies are great tools you can use. They're entertaining, they're fun, but they'll also impact you and bless you. So please check them out. So let's end with prayer before we let them go. And uh, let's ask the Lord to keep doing what he's doing. Uh, Let's ask for tender hearts in the theaters, for God to keep uh, expanding the kingdom. And we're so grateful for all of you who have supported these films. Take a friend, pray for them. Uh, Again, it's not just entertainment for us. It is ministry for Mm -hmm. us. And we want to keep making these types of movies. So we hope people can go support them. That's right. Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for uh, just another week. Lord, you are on the throne. You're so gracious. You're so loving. You're faithful and kind. You're generous to us, Lord. Thank you for salvation for your son, Jesus Christ, whom we put our faith for salvation. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to make these films. Show me the Father and Courageous Legacy. Lord, we ask that you would use uh, this time to call people to a closer walk with you. And Lord, if these movies can help do that, uh, Lord, we ask that you would prompt them to go, to take a neighbor, a friend, family member, to hear your word, the gospels in both films. And Lord, we ask for more Mm -hmm. people into the kingdom, for more people to be ministered to, and to see you as our perfect heavenly father. That is who you are, Lord. And we we praise and worship you for that. And we ask that your will would be done and that you would be glorified through these films. And we ask all of this in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us again. And uh, we will see you soon. God bless. Take care. God bless.